Hello everybody. <clears throat> Today we're going to be setting combination locks and this is the Brinks resettable combination lock and it has um, there's no key basically you just set the co four digit combination you twist this and basically that's it it's very simple it's resettable um, we use them a lot at tree life um, sometimes you know we go through employees we reset things um, and just follow the instructions basically what you do when you get the uh, package in the mail you open it and you set it to zero and when you set it to zero as the combination factory set to open the lock so what you want to do is once you set it to zero 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 you want to turn the lock over and take you um, anything like a pocket knife or a coin dime or something and basically what you want to do is just turn that basically till it goes straight down it's I guess that's uh, counterclockwise and then you go in the front and then you go ahead and set your combination to what you want it to be I'll go ahead and set this I put my glasses on because I can it's lights right in my eyes so go ahead and set the combination you know your birthday or whatever just make sure you memorize it and you don't <laughs> forget it because I've done that I've set locks before and then um, forget the combination and then later on I can't get it so I set my combination and then you just turn that um, basically uh, clockwise till it stops and then your combination is set make sure it opens mess up the combination won't open and then I'll make sure my combination works again thank you Let's see. there we go open sesame so you want to make sure you write your um, combination down if it's something that uh, like we, we have like a bunch of locks with the same combo and then once we change them a lot of times we'll change all of them so if you have a business and you have uh, you go through employees or it's just basically you want to change combinations every once in a while because you never know someone might see the combination and they have access to everything so you want to change your combination every couple months or every couple weeks um, especially if there's just a few people on the team like we have just me and like two or three other people know the combination so we change them every once in a while so anyway <clears throat> if you have uh, one of these locks uh, they're really good they're hard to cut because the the reason is it's not any harder than any other lock it's just harder to get at that angle because once you put um, something through there so you uh, go ahead and put another lock in there and then I'll show you what I mean. So see when that when it's locked up there's it's it's just really tight position. So if you have something real thick in there and you and you're trying to cut it, it's hard to get those lock cutters in there. So that's the reason why these are so good. They're not any stronger or any fatter or anything like that. It's just harder to get the bolt cutters in there to to cut that that um, hasp off so anyway and again I'm gonna go through this one more time with you guys okay you get a brand new lock in the package you pull it out of the package okay brand new lock it's gonna be like on zero zero one or whatever just like that Change it to zero, 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 zero. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Open it up, make sure it opens, close it, and then you go, you flip it over on the back, and then you just take a pocket knife and you, and you turn it counterclockwise so it's vertical, that, that basically looks like a screwdriver flathead. It's straight up and down. And that's in the reset position. So then you set your combination. 
whatever you want. Whatever I want. Once you got it set, take that little straight up and down and you turn it back horizontal, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's basically horizontal. Um, it's vertical, straight up and down to reset, but in the lock mode, it's um, horizontal. So make sure it's locked in there. So to reset it, it's uh, counterclockwise. Once it's set, it's clockwise. You lock it in, it's locked in like that. So now that it's set, make sure it opens and closes before you turn it. Because that way you'll know if you set your combination or not. So once it's locked in, you should be able to open it. So don't turn anything. <laughs> until you know it's going to open. Maybe do one at a time. Make sure it opens. There you go. All right. So write that number down and make sure you don't forget it because it's going to be hard to get your combination back. Um, you might have to sit there. Uh, my buddy, I remember we did this one time. He forgot the combination and it, he sat in the bathroom for like an hour or two and he finally got it he went through every combination that he ever had and ended up finding out what it was but um anyway this is roger with roger's reviews on the brinks resettable combination locks not real expensive but i guarantee you these are one of the best locks you'll have they're easy to set and they're hard to break into for the price i mean i know there's better ones out there but if you have to buy like five or ten or fifteen or twenty of these things you don't spend a lot of money um, you can buy these for about 10 bucks a piece on Amazon if you buy a bunch of them, like two or three of them at a time, like I do. Set them all the same, and then you can add to or subtract from, and then you can sell them or, you know, you can always get five or 10 bucks out of them, uh, you know, at the flea market too. So if you don't need them anymore, you can always sell them for a few bucks because they're resettable and they're personalized. So I think, honestly, these are <laughs> one of the best locks to get because, um, you know, you can change the combination on them. They're sturdy. They're hard to cut. Um, they're very durable. Um, but just keep them lubed up because I've had a few in the past. They're hard to turn. That's why I got the ones with the, this lever system on it. You can actually put a pair of pliers or something on it and turn it. Um, the other ones I have have this little button on them. And sometimes they're hard to turn. If they get locked up, it's hard to... And this little piece of plastic falls off. There's a little tiny piece of metal that sticks out and it's about it's about that big and you have to get your finger in there and pry 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 even if you have the right combination it seems like it's not and break those things loose so sh throw a little wd-40 or lubricant or pv blaster in there every once in a while it, you'll, you'll thank me because when these things lock up and you need to get in your tools you want to cut them off yourself <laughs> but i got this one because it was red and i'll probably put this on my like climbing box because i don't get in it too much and, uh, and I can set a different combination for that. So anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews on how to reset your um, little resettable combination lock. So hope this helps you out, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless.